So today we're going to look at the updates I made to my macro pad. Most of the updates are on the code, but basically I've um, enhanced the functionality of my macro pad by utilizing a very cool firmware I came across called KMK. So without further delay, let's jump into it. So basically, previously I had implemented some very crude code to assign function keys to the different buttons of my macro pad. They don't work so well in certain applications because the way I was implementing the transmission of the key code with the sleep functionality meant you couldn't use it for gaming because you didn't have that um, kind of constant state of being pressed for the game um, environment to capture that the button is continuously pressed because pressed, the sleep function basically made it intermittent. So yeah, I've implemented some neat updates. So here are the updates. So I've now implemented um, in my GitHub the simple a folder is called simple. This has the original code plus some minor enhancements, including utilizing the RGB LED that's on the RP2040 zero, but also I've now introduced the subfolder KMK base, which contains the KMK library, the same boot code I had before. So it, this allows you to use the first key as a way of um, forcing the flash storage to be visible when you plug in the keyboard. And then code and RP2040 are the um, let's say customizations of the KMK key maps to make it compatible with my keyboard. And um, so what the code does, it actually makes use of the RGB LED, which is connected on GPIO 16 physically on this um, MCU board and some functionality to toggle the color of this RGB, depending on which layer. And in case you're wondering what's layers, Layers are ways of um, swapping configurations of what the keys are mapped to. So when the key layer zero, the keys are defined from F13 to F20 with the bottom row and middle column um, exclusively set to toggle the function of the keys. So when you press this button, um, the bottom middle column, it will switch to these functions. So these are letter functions. And another reason I did this is actually Redux, the emulator I mainly use, um, doesn't support these higher function keys because image UE doesn't support them. And just for reference, key code trans simply replicates the key code that was existing in the default layer. Um, so yeah, let's look into how this is working. So here I have the keyboard on, here I have the RGB, it's currently in red, so which means we're on the base layer. Now the red is not so visible on the cam, even though it's pretty visible physically. And actually I had to hack slightly the design, I had to install this white paper to make it reflect through the LED. So this is not ideal, but it works enough for this case. So here we got red. If I press this button, which is the bottom uh, row, middle column, you can see it's turned to blue. And I press it again, back to red. But that means when it's in red, it's utilizing these function keys. And when it's in, um, in blue, it's utilizing these letter codes. So let's open Redux and have a look at that. So we're gonna launch Gran Turismo, press, one of these buttons, it shows key code 302, which is the function key definition. Now if I press this button, we're now in letter codes. So I'm gonna set cross to what I have a key as cross, square as square, triangle as triangle, circle as circle. Let's put um, start on the classic keyboard and we need up down, so they're actually already configured correctly. I, well, no, um, right, 
down left. So there we go. So now this is pretty cool because we can play Gran Turismo. I'm going to put on the audio for this. We can play Gran, Gran Turismo with this um, keypad. Just load this. There's there you see you can turn the keys. Unfortunately, I don't have the enough keys to do the So of course it's not not really the right way to play the game but but I'm just demonstrating the functionality of this. So let's close Redux. And yeah, I hope you like this. So all you have to do besides making this controller, the setup is simply copy all of the contents from KMK base onto your RP2040 and you're good to go. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, as I said, it's meant to be a short, quick update on my progress. My last video got a lot of views, um, not so many likes or subscriptions derived from it, but several views nonetheless. And actually it's the first video which I got a dislike for, which I am more than happy to receive criticism. It would be nice if such um, dislikes are accompanied with comments like your videos are pathetic or hey dude, we don't want to see your face, whatever it is, you know, let me know. I'm new to this. So thanks for watching and I hope to have something exciting for you guys next time. See you.